Hello my friends, welcome back. This is part three of the PATH series and this is all about making friends. If you want to make new friends, the next few minutes are going to be very valuable to you. But first I want to tell you, you already know how to make friends because the way that your friends treat you, that make you feel good, is the way that you should treat other people. But we forget we're so stupid as human beings. Maybe we're selfish, maybe we're lazy. We forget how to be happy. I wrote a little poem at our poetry group about how to be happy. It went, um, what have I learned after all these years? What wisdom lies between these ears? Exercise and do your chores, then do what you love, then do it some more. We forget to do the things that we love to do. It's crazy, really. Anyway, why do I want you to have new friends? Because, as you know, my quest here is to promote protopia, which is where everything is getting better day by day. That's what I'm trying to get towards. Now, if you look, say you get a single person on their own and they're miserable, disconnected, pessimistic. If you get that person with a group of good friends who becomes optimistic, happy, and numerous studies show that he'll be he'll be happier, he'll be healthier, and he'll live longer as well. So the value of having a network of friends is beyond description. So if you've got a whole society like that of people who care about each other and help each other and want the best for each other, that's protopia. That's likely to produce a society where everything is getting better and better because everybody wants it to get better for everybody else. They're not just thinking about themselves. So, how to get more close friends. Um, I've got 18 tips that I've made notes of here. And I'm going to just read them out bit by bit. It's, it goes beyond, if you watch the last video about POUCH, how to deal with individuals, the acronym POUCH stands for Polite, Observant, Understanding, Considerate, and helpful. We're going to go beyond that now to try to make real good friends, long lasting friends. So number one, try hard to remember names. You know, if if you're introduced to someone and then three weeks later you see them again in a, a different context and they come up to you and use your name, you can't deny that little buzz of pleasure that they've respected you enough to remember your name. I mean, some people are good at remembering names and some people aren't. But you can try your hardest to remember their names, repeat it in your mind, repeat it out loud. There are tricks you can do, like associating um, a character trait of the person, maybe he's got unusual hair or something, with his name. You have to find a, a picture. The more outlandish, the better, because it'll stick in your mind. And next time you see him or her, you'll remember the picture and that makes you remember the name. There's lots of tricks to that you can find out. But it's very important to try and remember people's names. Two, be a comfortable person to be with. Don't, don't expect people to be different from what they are. Don't pressure people to, to be what you want them to be. Just be, be comfortable to be with. And number three is relax yourself. Just, just relax. Don't let things upset you. Be an easygoing individual because your friend, you can relax with your friends. You can't relax with some people who aren't your friends. But with your friends, you can definitely relax. Four, don't show off. Keep your ego in the background. There's just no need for it when you're with your friends like that. It, that will also help with the, the relaxation. Five, try to have something interesting to say, no matter what the topic of conversation. So this is all part of going up the path. Part of the path is being more educated. So keep abreast of what's going on with current affairs. Read widely, as widely as you can with lots of things. So whatever the topic of conversation comes up, you've got something to say about it. Again, don't try to be a know-it-all. Just say, I think I might have heard that such and such. So just an interesting little thing. Six, try to be aware of anything in your personality that grates on other people. Now, your friends may not tell you this. I tell The ones who will tell you are your enemies. Not your enemies, but people who don't like you particularly. They'll point out, your shortcomings, but your friends won't. So you have to look very carefully at that. Try and find out yourself if there's anything that, you know, that is rubbing people up the wrong way or irritating people. 
Seven, try to sort out any misunderstandings that you've had. Let go of any grievances and try to forgive. It, you'll make yourself more relaxed and you'll feel better for doing it. Um, eight, this may sound strange, but try to like people. You, the more you try to like people, you'll find the more you do. If you look for the good in people, you'll see the good. If you're looking for the faults and the shortcomings, you'll see those as well. But if you look for the good in people, you, you'll start to like people more. It sounds strange, but it's true. Um, nine, in conversation, always have, be on the lookout for humour. Everybody likes a joke. Now, I mean, the right in the right situation, if you're joking around with your friends, it's perfect. If you're at a funeral, don't, don't, don't try it. But just look for the funny side of any situation. People will appreciate that and they, they enjoy it. Ten, this is one I think particularly important. Never miss an opportunity to give a word of congratulations on somebody's achievement if they've passed an exam or the driving test or anything at all that they've achieved. Let them know. Send them a card saying congratulations, you know, you, you did this, whatever. And if they've, at the same way, if they've had a disappointment or a loss, always express your condolences or sympathy for what, even the, just a disappointment if they've failed an exam, you know, let them know that you care about their results. Um, if you try, uh, number 11, if you try to give spiritual help, support to your friends, Try to think of the times when you needed help. If you've ever been in trouble, with most of us have had times in the lives when we're down like that, and you really need that support. And when people give it to you, you appreciate it. So don't forget to give that support lavishly when it's needed, and you can do that. Never forget to do that. Twelve, don't be afraid to show your human side. Show your emotions. We're all human. We don't want to bottle it up and pretend that we're the strong man. If something's affecting you with your friends, you can be honest, you can be yourself and you can let them know that, you, you know, you're upset by it. You, closer friendships will form because of that. Um, Thirteen, be generous with your support and praise and giving. Support people when they're trying to do something, praise them when they're doing it well and give. And this is not give to get. This is like, have you heard the phrase, um, I saw this and thought of you. Well, if you're, if you're walking around a shop and say your friend, she collects green frogs or something, and you're in a shop and you think, oh, a green frog, pick it up, buy it and give it to her and say, I saw this and thought of you. You're not trying to curry favour or anything. You've got to be genuine about this. It's only if you see something, you think, oh, I know who will like that. And you can do it. And that's a, a genuine thing. And, you know, we've all had that happen to us. And it's, it's great. Um, if you need help, at 14, if you need help, ask your friends. One of the greatest things you can do is help somebody else. So if you need help with something, don't be afraid to ask your friends, because if they're genuine friends, they will be enthusiastic to help you. They will want to help you. And that will also make closer friendships. 15, whoever you're talking to, equate yourself with them at their level. Don't Act superior and don't feel inferior. Equate yourself with them on their level. Closer connection. And 16, if someone entrusts you with a secret, make it your policy always to keep it. Unless there's, there's a chance of real harm being done, in, unless you tell somebody. But otherwise, keep secret secret. That's like a sacred thing. And a couple of others I thought of. Um, there's just practical things. 17. Go and meet more people. If you want to make more friends, they're not going to come and knock on your door unless you want to make friends with postmen and delivery drivers. Go out and meet people. And the best way is to find groups of mutual interest. So if you like watercolour painting or you, you like writing poetry or fiction or whatever, join a group of people and then at least you're all of like mind. You've all got something in common to start with. So if there's a dozen people in the group, You'll have a dozen acquaintances. You might have four or five who become friends and one or two that become good friends for life. That will happen if you go out. It won't happen when you sit sitting there in your cellar or wherever thinking about it. You've got to go out and meet people. And one of the best things to do, 18, the final one, 
is to find people who are on the path that I'm talking about, the path to protopia, who are actively trying to make themselves better, to make the whole society better, better in, in both the meanings of the word good, good at life and good as in moral. So they want to become more efficient at life, more efficient at dealing with life and more moral, making better, better decisions. If you can find those people, you'll have a friend for life and you'll support each other. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I hope that's all been helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon.